Hello again, we are in the course on dynamics and control. Uh, my name is Pedro Albertos and we are looking for some uh, questions related with the control uh, benefits. And um, in this module we have seen in which uh, conditions we are going to use the control. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes to improve the performance and sometimes just because it allows new applications. And this is a look at the future. You remember probably the last uh, video session in this module and we were uh, looking for a new application. We saw that uh, control opens the field for research and development. So the last question in this module is uh, dealing with new control scenarios. So control will appear in the future in uh, network control systems. You remember what is a network and how the control can be implemented through the network. A PAD controllers, you remember that the control is proportional, integral and derivative of the error. Uh, we may have uh, embedded control systems and the typical applications that we have been discussing is the car with many control units inside, all then uh, connected. Or uh, we have also seen the cyber physical systems when you have uh, a lot of sensors and actuators um, in a close interaction with the physical system, in that case with the sport man. So the question is, uh, even some uh, applications already exist in all these uh, four uh, areas, which one is uh, fully developed uh, nowadays? Okay, think about that and we will see the answer.